Hi, welcome back for another Make It Monday. This is Erin Lincoln, and today I'm going to teach you how to make these glitter outlines on all your die cuts, at least the ones that are single cuts and not something that has multiples. As you can see on this half and half die, I have a nice glitter border all the way around. It's really easy. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Okay, we're going to first start off with an already die cut half and half die, kind of the curvy bracket down there at the bottom. I'm going to ink it up with Smoky Shadow ink. Get that ink nice and covered all over that stamp if you want a nice clean impression. And the spongy mat underneath is going to help me with that too. I'm not too concerned about lining things up right here, just on the sides. My stamp is actually below the curves as not to worry about that. Alright, I have a lot of empty space there at the top. We're going to add a sentiment from Healing Touch Sentiments. It says, please get well soon. I miss your smile. Just going to use some black ink. If you notice, I kind of strategically stamped this half and half die to make room for the sentiment. That's easy. We're going to turn our uh, die around and we're going to add more pattern on top with the straight edge of this same half and half stamp. These things are really versatile. Love this stamp set. In fact, I have to almost hide it for myself so I don't use it every time. And because I placed the sentiment already, I know where to line up this pattern. Makes it easy. There's a lot of strategy involved in stamping. Have you noticed what you do first, what you do second? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm taking a Smoky Shadow cardstock base. I'm lining my actual die up on the cardstock. I'm making sure I have room for my sentiment to show there. Now the die is cutting side down, nice and centered, and I'm going to take an ink pen. This is some Martha Stewart Crafts. It's like the broad tip, not the uh, ballpoint pen tip. And I'm just going to trace all the way around with glue. It's really that easy. I got the idea when I used the uh, Every Cloud Has a Silver Lining sentiment with the clouds. I think that was from Up, Up and Away. And uh, I thought this worked well for silver glitter on a cloud. Now I'm just using it in a different application. We're using some fine crystal glitter, sprinkling it on. I removed that die, if you noticed, and I left behind a glue outline on my cardstock base. If you notice, I have some plain typing paper behind to gather all my ink, up, my glitter up. Just get a little excess off. Usually a nice sharp tap against a flat surface helps me with that too. Not a real fan of glitter working with it. I love how it looks. Such a pain to clean up, but I have a tip for you a little later on to help you clean it up a little bit better besides just using a piece of typing paper as a funnel. All right, we have a soft stone card stock, A2 card here, and we are adhering our glittered smoky shadow card stock piece on top. The reason I did this next was because I want to tie some embroidery floss all the way around the card at this layer point got a great idea from Pinterest about putting my embroidery floss on clothespins. Love it. And I also rec recently went to Joanne's with my little swatch book of cardstock colors and got matches and I'm quite happy with all my new colors of embroidery floss. Now you got really really careful here if you're tying something on top of this glitter. It hasn't dried. It's easy to kind of uh, brush off so I'm being very careful not to scrape it off. I could have probably, you know, worked around this by uh, either letting it dry or placing this embroidery floss at a different point, at a different layer, but this is where I chose to do it. Kind of made my own bed, so to speak, because now I have to work around the wet glitter. And I do uh, knock a little bit off. I already did a, up in the upper right-hand corner, but we're going to fix that. Fortunately, the glue stick still uh, wet and it's easy to fix. I'm really liking embroidery floss lately for cutting, uh, for tying bows. 
just a little bit of interest. Nice perky bows, not a lot of bulk, especially if you're mailing something. And I'm holding the knot down here so I can adjust those loops. That's just an easy way to do it. Now see up there at the very top I missed some glitter. It brushed off. So we're just gonna re-glitter it. Piece of cake. Now here's my tip for picking up glitter. Keep a lint roller around and it's easy just to clean it up off of your work surface. Also found it's helpful to get uh, dye stuck in your, uh, you know, die cut cardstock pieces out of your dies. Press it against. All right. Now this is a tip I learned from Betsy Feldman from watching these Make It Monday videos. I like how die cuts look when they're wrapped around the edge of something. It's just a nice cleaner finish on the edge. So instead of cutting this, I'm just going to wrap it behind. It's a much better finish to it, I think. Thanks, Betsy. Love that tip. Plus it gives a little something extra on the back of the card. Okay, I have an umbrella from Scattered Showers, and I used the die as well. I already stamped it, put a button on it, I used Melon Berry. Now, if you notice, these are like old scraps from Dimensional e Adhesive. They're, they're still useful. They're still sticky. Don't throw these out. It's a thrifty tip for you. Just cut them to fit. Not a problem. Now this melon berry light gray and dark gray combo I found on Pinterest too. If you guys aren't on Pinterest get, yet, get on. It's a really great site. Lots of inspiration. From, you know, just the oddest, just an image can uh, spark like a color combination or an idea. I'm wasting way too much time on Pinterest. I'm using cloud from the cloud dies. The smaller one I did not use a dimensional adhesive on, but the top one I am. So I have two things that are raised up. And it's nice because I can cut that adhesive to fit exactly. Even here on the edge where it's hanging over, I can just trim it. There you go, a very easy, quick get well card with just a little bit of flair. Okay, I hope you like this technique using glitter on your die cuts and uh, using your dies as a template. It's a great way to add just a little bit of interest to your projects. Looking forward to your creations, post them on Nicole's blog and we'll see if we feature them on Facebook or you might be able to win random drawing a stamp set of your choice for participating. All right. Thanks for watching, have a nice week, and we'll catch you next Monday with another Make It Monday video.